Willis, let's uh, discover or explore a little past participle in Italian using these sentences where we're going to talk about being born. Okay, so it's essere, essere, essere nato. Nato is to be born, essere is to be. So it's like the base that we're taking and we're putting it into persons and putting it into real world sentences, okay, just to make it real. So, uh, sono nato in Italia. Let me do this. Sono nato in, uh, in Italia. What this means is, I was born in, in Italy. Why? In Italia means in Italy, of course. And sono nato is the past participle of, of being born. Okay, so I was born. Sono is I am. Nato is born. And it functions very similarly to the English way. But this is more like about past. I am born can also be like, almost sounds like I'm being born or something like that. But this is about past really, okay? Next case. Sei, sei nati. And by the way, nato uh, is the participle form, but it conjugates or it, or the, 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 the ending changes, okay? The, it declinates. The reason is, it's always connected to the uh, to the guy who was born. So if it was him, nato, or um, it depends on the person. Okay, sono nato. It's me. So the ending is o. When it is about you, it, the ending will be i. Or oh, still the same meaning. <coughs> still the same uh, verb base. Okay, uh, sei nati in Italia. Uh, again, the same thing like here, but it's sei nati, where sei is you are born. So you were born in Italy, okay? Nati is for second person because it's you. You're like, I don't know, uh, with other words, the second person, even present tense, is conjugated the way that the ending is I, is E, right? The same goes with this. Uh, same rule with plural, suffixes, so just expect that. Uh, what is this? Well, this means is born here, but we already know it means he was born here. Why? Because the ending is always I said. Uh, if it was, if it was, if it was uh, she, it would be Nata. Okay, so that will be the difference. So because it's nato, we know we can just say eh. We don't have to say lui, but we can just say eh without saying, saying the lui or or lei if it was she. But the ending is o, so it must be masculine gender. Okay, so e nato qui means he was born here. Qui means here. E is is because this is the helping word. This is the helping to be. With uh, Italian, just like in many other European languages, the helping word for past participle and for these present perfect things is either be or have. Either be or have. For this one, it's be. For other verbs, it's going to be have. But for, uh, for uh, born or being born, it's be. So... Yeah, this is this is this is uh, what we what we kind of explore, and yeah, so this this were our our examples of being born in different phases.